messed up. But it's not the end of the world that it seems. And it's not the end of the world that those would try to make it seem. Today's a new day. Today's a new you. And so do not destroy yourself over a man that no longer exists. Don't ever be ashamed of anything you've done in your life. Face it, fix it, make it better. Build belief, build confidence to the point where nothing can hurt you because you know exactly who you are. You've faced your demons. You were able to hear all your past traumas. I'm no longer embarrassed. I'm no longer ashamed. Being ashamed is one of the biggest things that kill people nowadays. Morfati, which means love of fate. And it basically means love everything that happens to you as a way of learning and as a way of toughening yourself. Life involves pain. Life involves loss. The people that you know are going to die. You're going to get ill. You're going to have terrible things happen to you. People are going to screw you. Bad things are going to happen. That is life. That's what life is about. That's what any animals had to deal with. That's what you have to deal with. If you complain and you wish things were otherwise, that means that you don't love life. You don't like life. It's, you don't accept it. Be the opposite. Accept everything that happens and find a way to love it and see the purpose behind it. Unchosen suffering is going to happen in life. Your parents are going to pass away, loved ones are going to die, your relationships are going to break down, your body is going to fail you. And the only way that you can prepare yourself for unchosen suffering is with chosen suffering. It all starts with a choice. You're not here by accident. You're here because of the choices you made. Good or bad, they're yours. You can't blame circumstances. You can only own up and be accountable for your actions. If you don't like where you're at, change it. You chose this, now choose something better. In life, you can be so gifted, right? And so, ta I want y'all to hear this, right? You can be so gifted, so talented. Something can serve as an advantage your whole life. If you don't personally develop, Right. If you don't grow, if you don't evolve at a certain point in your life, your advantage is going to become your disadvantage. Guarantee you. That's the importance of hard work. That's the importance of dedication. That's the importance of commitment. This one question will change your entire fucking life. Who do I need to become? That's the question. Who do you need to become to become this person, to achieve this success, to hit this goal? That's the only question you need. Audit who you are. And you've got to ask yourself, what do I need to let go of? And who do I need to become to become this person? You have to keep growing and evolving and trying to be the best version of yourself. And sometimes that's uncomfortable for people to see because they're not doing the same. Because it makes them feel like you're leaving them, you know? But that's just their own projections going on to you. And you don't need to take that on to yourself because you're growing, you're, you're on your own journey. You're trying to be a better version of yourself. He says, when we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. The pursuit of personal excellence is not a solitary journey. It's a catalyst for transformative change that elevates not just you, but the entire tapestry of your existence. Striving for continual improvement is like planting seeds of positive change, fostering environments where growth becomes contagious. As we become committed to becoming the best versions of ourselves, the ripple effect extends to the world, creating a cascade of positive influence that is tangible. What makes you uniquely you? You can't be comfortable with yourself if you don't know who yourself is and you can't know who yourself is if you don't stop looking at how everybody around you is uh, and start looking at what makes you comfortable and what makes you uniquely you. There's roughly close to, I guess, about 8 billion people on this planet, but there's only one you. 
to look at yourself. You have to focus deep. You have to go through a process being honest and going, what excites me? What do I feel like makes me unique? The power that you have in life is mining that uniqueness, mining that individual quality in whatever field you go into. And so you can't have that self-awareness if you can't focus, if you can't concentrate, if you can't be bored and take a notebook and start writing things out about your childhood, about who you are, about what you love and what you hate. If you can't do that, I'm sorry, but there's no hope for you. There's really no hope for you. So you have to be able to put yourself on that information diet and go into that introspective process. You have a choice to make. Do you want to sit down and go back to that guy you once were? No. So this is what it takes. Nothing is easy.